Well, that's an interesting question. And tonight, the Penn Hill School District is finally responding after a 12 year old boy was dropped off in the middle of that SWAT situation here in Homewood, basically right here in this area, but not even close to the normal bus stop. And tonight, that boy's mother is blaming the A.J. Myers Bus Company, as well as Lincoln Middle School and the Penn Hill School District. A.J. Myers' and son's bus company dropped off 12-year-old Julius Carrington at the perimeter of the police and SWAT situation. The Penn Hill School District says it confirmed the emergency at approximately 2.50 p.m. But Maisha Henriquez says she notified Lincoln Middle School at 1.30 that buses would not be able to get through to drop off her son. That's one hour and 20 minutes before the school district could confirm it. I proceeded and I left work 1.30 and came and sat on block a door right by the recycling plant and was waiting for the school bus to come with my son. Penn Hill School District says it notified families via mass communication at approximately 3.20 p.m. and advised families of two specific reroutes and adjusted bus stops. But that did not include Carrington's bus because the district says it left the school before the call went out to reroute. But the boy's mother says the driver should still have common sense and the district should have a contingency plan for such emergencies. They seen the situation. They seen all the cops. They seen the SWAT. They knew what was going on. They seen the helicopters. Everything blocked off and they just dropped my son off in the city of Pittsburgh. Penn Hill School District says, quote, A.J. Myers management is investigating how and why the driver made this particular decision. Pittsburgh police confirmed the 12-year-old boy was dropped off in the middle of a SWAT situation. Who seemed to be a little frightened, of course, obviously, and scared. Wasn't sure how he was going to walk to his home. Something has to be done about this. I'm not letting this go. This is not acceptable at all. And, of course, we put in a call to A.J. Myers and Sons Bus Company for a comment, but we have not heard back. Reporting live from Homewood, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. All right.